Today, I have a very special video for those of you who have been asking for a completely free way to get your own powerful WhatsApp bot. We've talked a lot about the TCT bot and the incredible features it brings to the table. Imagine having the power to see messages even after they've been deleted using the anti-delete feature. Imagine being able to save and view view once photos and videos as many times as you want using the anti-view once module. Imagine being able to see what was in a message before it was edited, giving you perfect transparency. These are not just fantasies, these are all built-in features of the TCT bot, and today, I am going to show you how to get all of this, and more, for free, running directly on your Android phone. Now, before we begin, all the links you need for this tutorial, for our website, and for the app we're about to use, are in the description. So, if you're ready to turn your Android phone into a powerful bot server, let's get started. The first thing you will need is, of course, your Android phone. This method does not work for iPhone. The magic that makes this all possible is a free application called Termux. Termux is an amazing app that gives you a powerful Linux terminal environment right on your phone. This allows you to run server-side code, just like you would on a big, expensive computer. You probably won't find the correct version of this on the Play Store, so I have left a direct link in the description for you to download the correct, working APK file. Go ahead, pause this video if you need to, download that file, and install it on your phone. It's perfectly safe, it's open source, and it's the key to this entire process. Once you have Termux installed and open, it will look like a simple black screen with a command prompt. This is our control panel. Now, for step 2, we need to get our deployment instructions. So, you're going to open your phone's web browser, like Chrome, and you are going to navigate to our new, official website, i-tct.com. Once you are on the site, you will see a clear, step-by-step -step process. Let's start with step 1, which is to get our session ID. The session ID is the essential, secure key that links your bot's code to your specific WhatsApp account. On the website, you are going to click the button labeled Get Session ID. This will take you to our official pairing page. This page is incredibly important, so pay close attention. You have two ways to pair, you can use your phone number directly, or you can use a QR code. Now, since we are doing this all on one phone, you might think the number method is easiest, but I personally still prefer the QR code method, even if it means I have to quickly use a friend's phone or my computer just for one second to scan it. The single most important step on this page is to create a password. You will see a password field. You must type in a password that you will absolutely, 100% remember. Make sure you remember this password. Why? Because this new pairing system is persistent. If your bot ever crashes or your phone reboots, you don't have to scan again. You can just come back to this site, enter your linked phone number and your original password. Then, you click the button, it's the same one as the to pair with code or get already paired session button. But don't worry, the system has been integrated to be smart. It will recognize your credentials and, instead of making a new session, it will retrieve and display your existing session ID for you. It will be waiting for you, ready to copy. This is a massive improvement. So, I'm going to type in my password right now, one that I will remember. After that, I'm going to click the Get QR button. A QR code will appear. Now, I will grab a second device, this could be your laptop, another phone, whatever, I'll open WhatsApp, go to Link Devices, and scan that code. After a few seconds of scanning, you will see your session ID generated right there on the pairing site. It will be a very, very long string of letters and numbers. It will be displayed at the bottom of the site, as you can see. For now, just leave this web page open. We are going to need to copy this long ID in just a minute. Now for the main event. Go back to our website's main page, i-tct.com. You will see step 2, which is for the deployment. You'll notice that we now have two methods listed here, the professional VPS method and the free Termux method. Since this video is all about the free way, you are going to find the section for Termux and look for the bash script. This is the one line replaces all installer. 
you are going to tap the copy button right next to the Termux bash command to copy that entire line of code to your phone's clipboard. Now that you have the magic command copied, I want you to go back to your Termux application. That black screen is waiting for you. All you have to do is long press on the screen, and a paste button will appear. Tap it. The command you just copied from i-tct.com is now in the terminal. Now, hit the enter key on your keyboard. The script will immediately come to life. You will see text scrolling on your screen. What's happening is the script is automatically downloading and installing all the essential dependencies your bot needs to run. These are the engines of the bot, things like Node.js, and other libraries. This might take a few minutes, depending on your phone's processing power and, more importantly, your internet speed. Just be patient and let it run. Do not close the app. After the first batch of dependencies is installed, the interactive terminal will start. It will ask you for a bot name. You can write any name you like for your bot. For this tutorial, I'll just keep it simple and type bot and hit enter. After you name your bot, the script will continue. It will install some more dependencies, this time specifically for the bot itself. It's setting up the file structure and downloading the core bot code. This is another step where you just need to wait patiently. Let it cook. After a few more moments, the script will pause and ask you for the most important piece of the puzzle, your session ID. This is the moment we prepared for. Now, without closing Termux, you can just switch apps on your phone, go back to your web browser, to the pairing page we left open. Find that long session ID that was generated at the bottom of the page. Carefully select all of it, from the very first character to the very last, and copy it. Now, switch back to Termux. The prompt is waiting for your session ID. Long press on the screen, taps paste, and that huge string of text will be entered. Double check that it looks right, and then press enter. The bot will now take that ID and begin its final installation process. It will download all the final packages it needs to run all those amazing features we talked about, the anti-delete, the anti-spam, all of it. This might be the longest wait, so again, be patient. Let it finish. When it is completely done, you will see a message in the terminal that says the bot is running, it's connected, and you're ready to go. You'll see it's connected to WhatsApp. That's it. Your bot is now running, live, from your Android phone. To confirm that it's working, open your actual WhatsApp application. Go to any chat, your notes to self chat is a great place to test, and type the command, ping. If the bot is working, it should reply to you almost instantly with the word pong. If you see that reply, congratulations. You have successfully deployed a powerful, intelligent WhatsApp bot, for free, on your own device. Now, before we celebrate, we must have an honest conversation about this free method. Termux is an amazing application, but it is just an application. For your bot to work 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, your phone must be connected to the internet throughout that entire time. The moment you lose your Wi-Fi connection, the moment your mobile data disconnects, or the moment you accidentally close the Termux app, your bot goes offline. It will stop working. It won't see deleted messages, it won't greet new members. You have to ensure your phone has a constant, stable internet connection and that you use Termux's wake lock feature to prevent the app from sleeping. This is the trade-off for free. This method is absolutely fantastic for testing the bot, for exploring its features, or for using it personally when you know you have good internet. But if you are a community manager, if you're running a business, or if you're like me and you need your bot to be a reliable, professional tool that is online 24-7, even when your phone is off or in an airplane, then the free Termux method is not your final solution. It's your starting point. The real, professional solution is the one I showed in our very first video, deploying the bot on a VPS, a virtual private server. A VPS is a tiny computer in the cloud that you rent for just a few dollars a month. It is always on, it is always connected to high-speed internet, and it is built for exactly this purpose. You set it up once, and you can turn your phone off, and your bot will still be working perfectly. If you want to do that, the instructions are right there on our website, i-tct.com, 
in step 2, right next to the Termux one. So, if you try this Termux method and you love the bot's features, I strongly encourage you to take the next step and check out my video on how to deploy it on a VPS. That is the true, professional, set it and forget it method. But for today, you have an incredible tool running in your pocket for zero cost, and that is an amazing achievement.